Hey y'all, it's Wendy from Cottage 321, Wendy's Workshop here on YouTube. Look at this beautiful piece that I just finished, and I'm so in love with her. Look at all the beautiful detail. I want you guys to please just hang on and watch till the end and watch how I did this creation. Thank you. It's just a really small little coffee table. It's like the cutest little thing ever. It'd be great in a little den or maybe um, a small apartment or something like that. It's just super cute and I, I kind of like it. <laughs> if I had a place in my home for it, it would be at my house. So one of the first things I had to do, I had one of the legs that was a little bit wobbly. So I popped off this one little side here and I'm just applying my Gorilla wood glue and just making sure I spread it really good on each of the little, um, I think they're called dowels, <laughs> and just spread it around really good, making sure I got it down into the holes and on the dowels. I'm going to push it back together, and this actually, um, I did have a clamp that would fit this because it's such three legs, it's hard to clamp it. So once I got this in tight and I got that glue all cleaned up, I took some twine and I just tied it really tight, as tight as I could. And it ended up being a really good fix. It, it turned out good and strong. Have these cute posters here in our store and I really wanted to do something with one of them to show you that you can decoupage them onto furniture. You can frame them if you want to but you can also do some fun things with them. I really wanted it to look kind of like an old world, very very aged and smooth at the same time. So this print is, pa is paper, it was a poster and I kind of took um, water and I go along the edges and I kind of cut this paper up with water and I wanted my edges to be jagged and not like crisp, like they'd been cut with a pair of scissors or something. I wanted it to look really rough and aged. Here she is, look how cute. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. Kind of a little French country looking thing. I'm sure y'all noticed that there's been a step that I skipped and didn't get videoed and I apologize for it, but let me tell you how easy it is to get this look. And so it did leave like some gaps and stuff in between where I pieced it together. And I, if you let paint, you can use old paint, or if you just let your paint sit out for an hour or two, it thickens up. And so I kind of almost use my paint as like spackle. And so I put it in these little places and then instead of using a, a brush, I actually took a trowel and I like something with a flat edge and I kind of like you do with spackle, you know how you get those little paddles and I would rub it across and I just kept doing that across all these different places and then I actually came back with a damp brush and I smoothed it out again. Now this creamy color that you're seeing mixed in here with the Paris Blue, this is 
called Creamy Linen, and it's very pretty. It's a popular color as well. She is Paris Blue, and I don't know if it's translating well, but it's, it's kind of a gray blue. I really like it. And see, I distressed it just a little bit. That's my favorite thing about farmhouse paint. You can paint metal, so those little feet are metal. Wood, plastic, you can paint glass, you name it, you can do it. So I just have to show, I, I'm a big fan of the distressing. Here's a zoomed out of the whole top. Now guys, we're gonna go back and give you a before and an after shot one last time. for joining in if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you love it subscribe and share it and also I would love it if you left a comment and um, anyway that's it guys thanks so much for joining me and watching this video until next time See ya.